I'm both humbled and, and find it an honor to have been asked by you know a group of Princeton students to come and represent uh, my company and myself. I hope they ask questions that will put me in a position to be able to give them experience and knowledge that will help them unlock their own dreams. Like I said, my, my name is James Barlow. I'm the, the founder of Triumph Technology Solutions. Uh, Triumph Technology Solutions is an Amazon Web Services premier tier consulting partner. Uh, we are all in with Amazon Web Services, which means that we don't work with Google Cloud, we don't work with Microsoft Azure. You know, we are 100% exclusive to Amazon, which works to our benefit because Amazon appreciates the loyalty and uh, as a result, you know, um, really, really leans into us as well, which is which is a really great feeling. So let me pause real quick. Are you guys when I when I'm saying Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud and Microsoft Azure, like are you familiar with the top three? OK. All right. I hope, are they teaching you that in, in school now? No. Well, they should be. There's so much opportunity there, not just in terms of growth of the big cloud providers, but all the businesses that are adopting it. But there's such a shortage and engineers that can support the cloud. You know, it's a very lucrative business. It's been a very hot market. You know, salaries are high. Folks looking to go into cloud, right, you know, can advance their careers. We see a lot of different real world use cases. Healthcare and financial services right now are the biggest consumer of cloud. So I uh, just want to put that out there. You know, if, if anybody's thinking about possibly going in this direction, both of those segments are huge right now. Like we're seeing more business in those areas on the cloud than anywhere else across the board, so. Um, I also have a question about the early stages of your business. So I'm also interested in building out my own tech startup and was wondering if you could um, share any advice that you have on building a team in the early stages um, and also as well how you were able to build out like your technical platform um, for cloud service. Sure. That's a good question. So, you know, if you have venture capital, right, you know, building a team is a bit easier because you have money to do it, right? Um, so I would tell you the biggest thing, and this is based off lessons learned, don't just hire anybody, like hire A players, right? Hire, hire the best. You know, if you hire the best, then obviously you can, you know, become, become the best. Um, that's that's general advice in terms of building a team. If I can tell you who who do you who do you hire first? I mean, first you you got to find a, a partner because you probably don't want to do it alone, right? Like you need somebody that complements you. Um, maybe you're strong on the technical side and they're strong on sales, which is how my partner and I kind of complemented each other. Now I'm very strong on sales too, but I was technical, he was sales relationships, right? Um, I would also suggest you know being conservative with your budget, you know, because early on you want to, you know, make sure that you have cash flow and operating capital to continue to run and grow the business and pay your people, right? You don't want to grow too fast, too quickly, because if you do, you know, there's a very good chance that you, that you may go under. Um, and putting the technical infrastructure in place on, on that side, I, I would also go back to, you know, in any technology company, I would build the sales side of the house first, right? Obviously you need the technical side to deliver uh, as well, but I would hire like a good, a, not even a good, a great salesperson, somebody that's very relationship driven and you know can um, sell ice to an Eskimo, right? And uh, I think that's that that's important to, to go after. Um, and then obviously have the technical side to either develop your software or you know um, you know serve your customers or a combination of both and kind of scale them accordingly. Like our rule of thumb right now, we're in the services business, is for every account executive that we hire, I need 20 engineers to deliver on the work that they're gonna sell. So that's kind of how we've been, you know, growing the, the delivery capabilities, you know, uh, in line with the, the sales side. Um, building a technical product. If you're building a piece of software, you probably just need a product manager at first, you know, somebody that kind of help, you know, build and execute on the requirements for your product. Uh, you're going to need a business analyst, you know, to help define that business requirements document that the product manager is going to go and, you know, uh, bring his team on to, to execute on. And then you're going to need a, a, a team of solid, you know, software engineers. Um, if you can find some full stack developers, meaning they can do front end, you know, what people see and back end development, you know, what pretty much the plumbing, what makes everything work, uh, that's, that's critical.
So like uh, with, with me, I'm just like I was very much like focused on uh, first cloud product management, and then I uh, moved to like uh, security product management. So I'm not really too uh, ingrained on like a lot, like deep ingrained in technical side. Would you say that uh, it, it will help me as a founder to know the technical more, or should I just partner with somebody? You can partner with somebody that knows technical, right? You know, I mean, like I said, my partner, he didn't know technical. He didn't know deadly squat about cloud, right? I taught him everything. And, um, you know, at the same time, like I was technical, he was very sales focused and, and, and you know, smooth on that side. So find somebody that compliments you. Yeah. Sorry, uh, last question. I think for all those of us who want to start a startup and are trying to take a if we want to go about getting partners like Amazon and, and other big companies, where do we start? You mentioned it was not easy yeah. at all. No. Where do we begin? Amazon has, so right now they have two tracks, right? They have the, the, the SI, the consulting track, consulting partner track, and technology partners track, right? So for somebody that wants to start, to, be, to, to start a startup, right? Maybe build a product. If you want to build a piece of software, you know, a, a SaaS piece of software, you can partner with Amazon and they will co-sell your software, meaning they'll bring your, your software to all, their, to all their customers as well, just like they bring in their service partners like us. So there's two sides of it, you know, and, and um, you know, so that's, I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would start by getting registered and, and um, you know, then obviously uh, um, start grinding away, start talking to people. So, but you'll have like a partner development manager at first and they'll help point you in the right direction. And if you don't give up, it will happen. But yeah, I just wanted to, to throw that out there. It's a very good business to go into. Um, and, and honestly, if, if you guys um, you know, are curious, we do have an internship program as well. I'm not here to recruit or anything like that. But we're able to move folks from a junior engineering standpoint to almost senior level in less than a year right now. People making career changes uh, in the cloud world, coming in, going through our internship program, starting as a junior engineer. And then, you know, like in less than a year, we're getting them certified and they're, they're at a level where they can support our customers. Would love to attend this again. Uh, it was great, again, to be able to pour into, you know, the, the future, uh, you know, of, of the engineering world, the future of the cloud world, you know, based on knowledge and experience that I have acquired, being able to uh, be people obsessed. I love being able to help others, you know, achieve their dreams. Uh, and it, great, it, it felt great to be able to be a part of that.